So we're going to have a look in this video at how we evaluate RPN expressions um, and uh, particularly looking at how we deploy a stack to actually enable us to evaluate a postfix or to produce a postfix notation expression. Um, now this was a four mark question in an exam series in 2018 I believe and you have to sort of have an awareness of a few key concepts around what's actually happening in relation to the values being pushed onto a stack. So let's take an example of uh, 2, 3, star, 5 plus. So uh, the most common method of evaluating a postfix notation is to use a stack itself. And the way this works is step one is to push the first value onto the stack. So push two onto the stack. And in fact, what you actually do is you push each operand onto a stack until you meet, meet an operator. So then we push three onto the stack, but because we now encounter the as we now encounter multiply, um, we're not going to push this onto the stack. But what we are then going to do is we are going to pop all the operands currently in the stack and evaluate the expression of two, three, and star. Now, an exam point is uh, it's really important to note that we don't put the operator onto the stack and then pop all the items from it. That would have lost you a mark in the uh, 2018 exam series we say that when we encounter an operator, we pop all the operands from the stack itself. And I suppose a, log, a, a very straightforward way of looking at that is, is that if we're only storing values, so numerical values on the stack, then that would stop any kind of potential errors re related to the data that's, that's coming from the stack itself. Um, logic to me anyway. Um, so we evaluate the expression two, three, star, and then, so that gives us a value of six. And so we push the answer back onto the stack itself. Um, now, you might say push all the operands, or you could say push the pre pop the previous two values from the stack as well. That might be a slightly nicer way of putting that. Step six uh, is we're going to then push five onto the stack, and because then afterwards uh, we've done that, we then now encounter an operator of plus. We don't push this onto the stack, but what we do is we pop the previous two values off the stack, so five and six six was the evaluated answer and then we have an answer of 11 so we push 11 as the result back onto the stack and um, that sort of provides us with our final evaluated answer if you want to understand more about how the stacks work then uh, i would suggest looking at the videos on the tree traversals um, and how it makes more sense in tree form uh, but i hope that gives you some clarity as to evaluating Polish notation in the form of a stack what we're then going to have a look at in the next video is practicing um, infix expressions and converting these into their final output. So check that video out if you want to understand more about how to do that.